حد يبقى موجود هنا على ارضنا امن ومستقر يجي بسلام ويرجع كمان بسلام وامان واحنا نازلين في المطار وبنغادر وهنغادر تاني وبنامن وهنامن اكتر الشعب المصري كله دلوقتي متوحد جدا وصامت جدا جدا وواقف بكل قوه وشموخ مصر امنه ومستقره وسالمه محدش هيقدر يكسر اراده المصريين لن تنطفئ انوار شرم الشيخ وهنبني بلدنا Walking around the bazaar of Luxor is quite an experience. Here you can find a lot of souvenirs to take back home or to give to your friends. There are spices, there are accessories, there is gold and silver, t-shirts, uh, tablecloths, Egyptian cotton, everything that, that you can think of that will remind you of Egypt, you must find it here in the bazaar of Luxor. So why don't you come, spend your day, daytime touring around the monuments and spend your evenings touring around Luxor Bazaar. Luxor comprises one third of the monuments of the world. And that's what placed this small city in a primary level on the world's archaeological map. But there's another face to that serious city which most of the tourists, if not all of them, try to find, especially at night. It's the exotic Luxor Bazaar, where visitors do their shopping and buy souvenirs while having fun time. Here, you can find whatever you're looking for, and for excellent prices. There are accessories of all sorts and styles, both traditional and modern, made of precious metals or stones, and semi-precious stones as well. There are also a lot of cotton production in the form of t-shirts, jalabias, tablecloths, scarves, and bed sheets. There are also belly dancers costumes. Let's find out how some of the tourists will express their experience in the market or the souk of Luxor. Hello, where are you from? We are from Denmark. Oh, which part of Denmark? We are from near Copenhagen. All right, welcome to Egypt. Thank you very much. Uh, where have you been around uh, Egypt so far? Where did you go? We have been in Luxor and in uh, Aswan. To uh, Anil Cruz to Aswan to see uh, the Aswan area. All right, from from Luxor to Aswan. Yes. And now we are returned to uh, to Luxor, and we have been here a couple of days, and see the Canaan, the Canaan Temple and the Luxor Temple, and the graves uh, on the other side of the the river. And uh, tomorrow we are flying to uh, Cairo and uh, spent uh, three days in Cairo and then we are flying to Sharm el Sheikh and have uh, four days in Sharm el Sheikh so we are here in 14 days in Egypt it's a very lovely country we love the people it's very fly uh, friendly people very friendly people All right. and the weather is very good in Denmark it's cold now it's about uh, five degrees so we enjoy 
very much the temper temperature here. Yes. All right. So you made quite an adv a big adventure in Egypt yes. so far. Yes. <laughs> and we go to Alex uh, Sia, Ela Alexandria. Alexandria. Yeah. When we are in Cairo, we take uh, a bus to uh, Alexandria and uh, stay there one one day and go back to Cairo. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, Alexandria is a very beautiful city by the Mediterranean. Yes. yes. What's your impression about Luxor? Luxor. It's a it's a good town with a lot of shops and <laughs> it's very nice. But we have been uh, in the other side and see the temple oh. and the graves, and we have to a balloon. You've been on a balloon. Yes, this morning we've been on a balloon. Oh my God, that's quite an adventure. Yes, <laughs> it's very very nice. Yes, <laughs> yes. So all the temples from up, up. Yes, we have been in Luxor before, ten years ago. We have been here in Luxor one week in Luxor. So we we are coming back this time. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for being interviewed. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I, I wish you a nice time in Luxor. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Bye bye. There is another famous souk in Egypt that's located 200 kilometers north of Cairo. It's Alexandria's most ancient market, the Women's Lane. The original name is the Women's Zanka, which does express its narrow size. But in spite of that, it extends for a long distance, and everything can be found here. As they say in Egypt, from the needle to the rocket, but I wouldn't go that far in my shopping list. In the earliest period of the 20th century, it was famous as a trade center for cloth and materials needed by tailors. But when this craft was threatened and overwhelmed by clothing factories, less people continued to depend on tailors whose numbers decreased. Alexandria's Lane had to readjust to the modern necessities and keep up with people's needs. New productions and merchandise were introduced to it and by time they became an attraction to tourists as well. Here there are souvenirs, cloth, makeup and accessories. The accessories sold here are very unusual. They imitate the original ones that can be found in museums all across the country. Salher, good evening. <laughs> so that's actually one of my favorite shops here in Zanket El Setar, as it sells very eccentric jewelry, uh, fashionable, and in the same time kind of oriental. So I come every now and then and check what about the new, the new designs. So uh, I think I like this one. The turquoise color is very very bright okay I think I guess I'll try this one and okay have a mirror okay. okay okay I'll try it now uh, I think it's nice. I can try also another one which I've got like more turquoise in it. Like like this one for example. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, that's more simple and chic, right? So what do you think? You think it's nice? Okay. Okay, what about uh, the bracelets? The bracelet? Yeah. Okay. These are kind of oriental. What about the modern the modern design? Ah, I see. It's over here. Ah. Okay, let me check this one. Oh. It's 
nice. What do you think? I think I like it. Okay, and how much is it? It's 35. 35 Egyptian, that's almost uh, like a divide by that almost uh, six, uh, six euro or something like that. Or, no, it's almost five euro. Well, that's a very reasonable. That's very reasonable price. It's a good price. Yeah. Okay, I'll guess I'll take this one as well. It's after discount, 31. After, ah, you're gonna make me a discount. Okay. I, li I love discounts. Okay. I think I've spent a lot of time here, so see you in a while. Alexandria is famous of leather goods that are sold for unbelievably good prices. There are also different ornaments used for indoors and outdoors decoration. But don't worry, here you can bargain just as you do in all the markets of Egypt. the whole day touring around the magnificent monuments of Aswan city. Feeling sorry that the day is about to end and I'll go back home to my hotel room and sit down and do nothing at all. Only to find out that the night time here is alive too. This is a market or the bazaar or the souk. It means I have a chance to do what women like most which is shopping. So let's enjoy together the souvenirs here and enjoy the tour in El Bazaar of Aswan. The bazaar of Aswan extends for six or seven blocks parallel to the Corniche street that runs along the Nile. Locally, it's called the Souk. When walking in the main street of the Souk, you will immediately notice a very relaxed atmosphere with vendors selling a range of souvenirs and other goods with a smile and friendly faces. Some of the shopkeepers may even enjoy trying to practice some of their several languages with you or invite you for a cup of tea. It's a nice way to let you walk into the shops so that you can take your time and get to know the different types of their goods. sold in wide variety. Spices, textiles, baskets, t-shirts, Nubian hats, jewelry, carvings are only a few of the items available here. Local accessories catch a lot of attention for their unique Nubian style. They can't be found anywhere else in Egypt. And they definitely got my attention as well. So the bazaar of Aswan is very famous by these shops that sell lots of necklaces made of very local beads. For example, ebony and ivory. Aswan city is very famous of especially these two stones and the necklaces are very attractive too. Okay, I'll try one just to show you. Okay. 
It looks nice, right? Uh, that's another style uh, that's called turquoise and it's a very famous color especially for the Egyptians because they believe that the light blue color brings good luck and then there is this group of necklaces which resembles the coral stone you know what's really nice about this collection it's the prices the prices are very very reasonable so I'm going to wait here a few minutes to meet the men shop and discuss with him this issue. Hello, where are you from? I'm originally from Miami, Florida. So, uh, where did you go so far in Egypt? Well, we have visited uh, Luxor so far now, uh, Aswan and Kukumbo, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Abu Simbel? Abu Simbel also, but another city here. And uh, yeah, the Valley of the Kings, uh, Hatshepsut, and yeah, a whole variety of little places. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Oh, certainly. It's been one of the most amazing experiences of my life. It's a dream come true. <laughs> wow. So, uh, today in Aswan, where did you go? Um, well, we went this morning to... Um, to the dam, actually. We went today to the dam, and then uh, we actually ended up walking around in the city. How about yourself? Uh, no, with a couple of friends of mine who are here with me. So tonight in Aswan, I can see that you're enjoying your time in the bazaar here. Yes, certainly am. <laughs> Did you do any shopping? Yes, I uh, ended up buying a couple of spices, some raisin hanout and saffron, and uh, yeah, some presents here and there. <laughs> oh, so you feel, do you feel safe while you're working here in the bazaar? Yes, yeah, certainly. I feel, I feel very safe here. Um, haven't had very much problems, you know. Um, you know, some of the vendors are a little aggressive, but hey, that's yeah. everywhere, you know. <laughs> oh, you're very optimistic. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, good luck in the rest of your tours in Egypt. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> For the convenience of tourists, the shopkeepers take special care during packing so the gifts and the delicate items wouldn't be broken. Shopping is one of the delights that Aswan has in store for all those who visit the place and is a unique and unforgettable experience. No matter where you are in Egypt, you'll always find the bazaar of your dreams and close to the town center in an easily reached location. It will be expecting your visit and will introduce to you the best of the merchandise in the Egyptian market. <laughs> 